All right, folks, uh, Cam Hawkins here from the Trading Up podcast. We've got Mario Hannenberger here from Swingfish, and uh, we're going to basically go through some of the stuff he's talked about in a great podcast that we've just done. goes for about an hour, some massive insights, stuff I haven't heard before in my almost 200 interviews that I've already done with traders. So, guys, you're going to learn some stuff today, uh, especially around money management. And I think we're also going to talk about um, VWAP, VWAP reversal trades as well and possibly some other stuff. So over to you, Mario. All right. Um, yeah, welcome and thank you for having me. Welcome. Uh, well, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, what, um, like I said in the interview before, I'm trading... Uh, I don't trade with indicators generally. I mean, the an analytics part is done without any indicators. You can see on my chart, I have here 200 moving averages. Here they are too. Um, but they are more like, this is like um, you're driving down the road on your car and your navigation system is showing you the map. On a road, you actually, you know it because you drive there every day. Yeah. This is basically what it is. So, So I can see what what's going on this is basically but i never make a trading decision based on these indicators but for the vweb it's kind of, it's a bit different um one next um um yeah yeah that's basically it so um i'm tr um i have a seven second rule like i open a uh, asset any asset let's just open any any something i don't trade um say something Actually, should we you just quickly talk about the fact that so that GJ chart you've got up there, GBP JPY in the top top uh, right hand corner for everyone. Yeah, it'll be right hand corner. Uh, is that trade you were talking about before, wasn't it? Where you'd scaled in and you exited to, for a small profit in the end. Yeah, yeah, this is the trade. You can see here the thirty minute chart. If I just make it bigger, my reason to enter again seven second rule in the morning. I. Uh, uh, I saw price was around here, and I have this uh, support line here, so I'm gonna buy it off there. That's basically it. On the three-minute chart, there is this, this is the same line, and this is basically my my um, my level where things go bad. And I'm yeah. com combining support and resistance uh, with the VWAP. Um, I have only to see the yellow dots here. That's, that's the VWAP prices. I don't have the whole histogram because it's pointless to have it. It's, it's useless information. I just need it for the entry. That's why. So I see the last 20, 25 Viva prices. So I can see if there's a slope or something like that, if the volume goes up or if the volume goes down, something like that. But cool, that's, interesting. Um, yeah, let's just have it. Um, yeah, my, my trade was, let me just go back to the 30 minute. Um, this one is probably not going to happen. I removed that already. Yeah, let's just go have it here. Yeah. Um, so my idea was, I let, let me just turn on the histogram for the sake of the of the argument. Uh, histogram one. All right. Um, you see the the um, Tokyo opening. The the uh, the price start was here. It went down. I I bought it already before in the in the Australian session. But I was fully aware that price will retest this level here. That's mm -hmm. what we talked in the in the podcast about scaling in. So price went down, and uh, I would just keep buying it until this level here. And then price went up, and while we were talking, it went below actually, and that was my failure. And then it just spiked back up, and it's just to profit because we were still talking. <laughs> so I, um, but now in well, afterwards you're always smarter. The, the trade actually is, is working out. So my my initial idea from buying this support worked, but this is hindsight. So yeah, at this moment you you can actually see at this moment the price went below the VWAP and it went below this support line. So this is considered a failure already. So I was just lucky it showed up and I pressed the button to close all the trades. So would you have uh, held the trade had you not been on the call, do you think? Uh, no, no, because this, okay, this is pound yen, and pound yen is kind of high volatility. But if that would be Australian dollar, Japanese yen, I would not have held it. Uh, like I said uh, on the podcast, 
on Australia, uh, Australia, and I have a one pip stop. Like if it, uh, this is, um, but yeah, here's a new setup. Let's just uh, ignore this and then just remove that. Uh, deal map, yeah. All right. Let's just ignore everything. A typical VWAP reversal works for me, like, works like that. Price goes over the VWAP and then it tests the VWAP and this is where I will buy, right at the VWAP. Uh, on its way up? On, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Preferred with a limit order because then you get positive slippage. Um, and then you have like, okay, on, on, Aus, on pound yen, it's maybe a four pip store, but on Aussie yen, like I said, I had setups with 0.5 pip stop on, right. on setups. Like, not, not on this one, but let's just measure how long. Yeah, this went down 1.7 pips against me. So now, just just for the from the risk reward. Let, okay, let's keep it realistic. I will, let's just, I have a three pip stop. So I would have entered on the Viva with a three pip stop and we're now plus 13. And so this is back to the point you were making around not having to, to make, you know, hundreds of pips in profit to um, post on your Instagram. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like uh, my, my indicator has another feature. I made that by myself. You see here below, it shows my the asset, the time frame, and this is actually a suggestion of the size I'm going to trade. That means if I buy five, six lots at this level, on the when the price goes down to the VWAP, I'm going to have my loss, which I have set in the indicator, which is 0.3%. Yeah, I have here this 0.33%. And this, this calculating, calculating it in real time, and hopefully the price goes, goes down. Just look at this number. Now it's half a lot more. So there we have it, guys. It's a little short, the video. We got cut short. For whatever reason, my computer just completely died at the very end there, just as we were sort of getting into it. But what I have got for you is some good news. I've got a webinar lined up with Mario for the 29th of October on, in 2019. So if you're watching this in the future, maybe check out the URL. You might get a replay or something. I don't know. Uh, but I've got a webinar lined up with him where we're going to get questions from the audience and... If you've got questions, you can send them in now. We'll get him to answer them on the show. He'll be he'll have a live chart up there that he can walk through things and, and explain things in detail. I actually had a session with him today, and uh, this was just a, a, a impromptu session where he walked me through some some of the other things that he does. It's quite fascinating, guys. So if you can make the webinar, then you can register for it. It's on the 29th of October, 2019. If you're hitting this video too late, then check out the link. It's uh, tradingnut.com forward slash Mario, and uh, that will redirect you somewhere. Who knows? Hopefully, it's the registration page and get on board and ask those questions live to Mario. All right, guys. Um, until next time, have a great trading week.